Hello my lovely Taurus, welcome, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what kind of energies are surrounding you this week, March 20th through to 26th. Here we go. Seven of, of Cups and Knight of Swords jumping out and I, as you know I always do pay attention to the cards you jump out because they do kind of set the tone for what is going on. Oh, I can see the wind of changes. Interesting energies here. Alrighty, just keep in mind this is not one of readings, so take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. And welcome to my channel. I do daily shorts, weekly readings, monthly, and now and then I do pick a card readings as well. So welcome, subscribe, and explore what else is out there. Plus, I am going to do a yes or no answer for your question, and I'll answer as well why. Why is this going to happen? Alrighty. You ready? Let's dive in Taurus. Three ones. Queen of ones. Page of swords. King of swords. Oh goodness. <laughs> the star. And the world. Well, isn't this weird? You got the ones. Ones. Swords. Swords. Major arcana. Major arcana. Wowzers. Okay. Sorry, I just knocked the, the, the camera here. Okay. Oh, goodness. You know, like the period of time when people were looking for gold in all over the world. It's not about being goldier because you, but you are really looking for that particular thing that was going to make you happy. You are in the search actively. Either this is looking for a new job or looking for a new love. You're actively very proactive looking for that it. Either this is a job and you're really looking and searching, putting your CVs everywhere. Uh, even if I'm seeing travel, maybe you're planning to travel somewhere as well. But you're looking where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. There's a lot of search happening. I can feel it, wind of change. There is some change happening and you are literally wanting to... To make that change happen. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Wheel of Fortune. Now we have the world card here. So hey, you do end up there somewhere. Okay. But it's Seven of Cups is a card of, sometimes it's a card of bucket list. You are wishing and, and choosing what you would like to do. And we're together with Knight of Swords. Look how it's kind of focusing on this card here. You're going to pick one of them. Sometimes the choice might not be as easy. But I kind of have a feeling that you know what's in your mind. And it could be as well that you have more than one offer coming away. Either more than one person around you or more than one kind of situation going. And it's just like, you know what it feels like? There's a period of time when there's nothing happening. And there's a period of time there's like everything's happened at the same time. And this is how it feels right now. This is how it feels right now. Everything's happening at the same time. All right. Three of Wands, Queen of Wands. It's interestingly how when Three of Wands is turning back to us, you're kind of going within to look for that, what it is that you desire, what it is. That, and again, this is kind of making choice, making some sort of decision. Shall I go? Shall I stay? Is this the right person or not? Which of the options is going to bring me the most kind of looking at the long term? However, Queen of Wands is clearly stepping in and saying, look, I figured this out. I got this. This could be a person that's coming your way or a situation that really opens a door. And sometimes you need to knock on the right door. And it could be the possibility that you, there's a person coming in your life that is superbly... Uh, so optimistic and contagiously maybe they, they even have a great laugh right they have very contagiously positive attitude and they know they're real i can do this i can help you because th there could be the situation where you need some sort of support and there's if there's not the person this is definitely that sun is shining on you because this sunflower comes from the sun card there's four sunflowers behind and you need that support. You really need that lucky break. You need really that, wow, I woke up this morning and I know what to do. And this is kind of that energy here. Now, what are we, what are we doing with these, these swords here? Page of swords, king of swords. 
Now, there is, interestingly, to make decisions sometimes, King of Swords is very precise. You do not mess with King of Swords. The way he says it, the way it's going to go. End of. However, there is some energy around that. I wouldn't say that you are wanting to take shortcuts, but there might be some sort of learning needed. Learning needed. Look how this person is kind of looking back. They're not really sure. Okay. And what that means. If there's any situation where you have to make decisions, because this is making decisions here, you will need to be very precise and cut with that sword. Leave the gossip. And you know what this card is? It could be as well, Taurus, that you maybe are going around and going to one person and saying what you think. And you discuss what you think and listen what they think. And, and then you go to another person and hear what they had to say. And you would say what you want to say. And so you are. And then you come back and you're like, I'm no better off at all. My, my he head is scrambled and I don't know what to do. So what the King of Swords is saying, stand your ground and make your strong, strict decision and live by your word. Whatever decision is, right or wrong, but live by live by it. Live by it. Now, what we have here is is the star and the world. Oh, the saying <laughs> you ask and it's given is coming to me. You have asked through a prayer or through um, a thought in your subconscious mind or so, what you want and the world is delivering to you. Because the star is saying out with the old, in with the new. There needs some balancing happening because the four, seven stars, sorry, seven stars is talking about you need to kind of balance your chakras. Reach for the star and do not settle for second best. Reach for what you want, not someone else wants. Don't go around houses talking about what you want and don't want. Make your own mind. Be your own boss. Like Queen Wan, she's the real boss. She knows how to stand her ground and she calls the shots. So does the King of Swords. And the star is saying, when you make... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once you make decision, the universe gets your back. The world gets your back. And the world is saying, look, you have some sort of completion happening. And it's kind of it's similar. If you look at them, typical non-world card, there's this lady coming through the L'Oreal Reef and her foot is through it at the back, similar as the pages where it's standing, and then she steps through the new one. It's like you're stepping out from the old into something new. In the new cycle. And of course, it's your, as uh, soon is going to be your season as well, Taurus, right? So which you are going to come and enjoy. But as a great completion, you might actually be planning to travel here. Let's throw some spanner in a work with the keepers. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What do we have for you? For Taurus, for this week, please. No. Anything for Taurus? Okay, bad health, message of concern, and courtship. They, as I can see, there is could be some sort of sleepless nights regarding either making your decision and wanting to change mind. There could be some legal changes happening. Maybe there's some laws changing regarding either if you want starting new business or anything. Or someone is trying to contact you. But you are going to get through this. Because courtship is definitely supporting you. You are going to have a great partnership with someone. That is going to guide you through this. Someone is definitely going to guide you through this. Don't get bugged up. Because. Okay. Thank you. So very strong message is coming. Keep yourself to yourself. As more you tell about what you want to do. As more you're spreading the energy that people want to try to stop you either from, from progressing or from succeeding. Okay. 
keep an eye news why i'm saying news keep an eye on news if you want to travel the world to the countries that i don't know maybe are not as um as typical travel kind of destinations you might need to keep an eye on what's going on with news that could be very relevant that could be really really irrelevant i want to throw some um ocean tarot cards in and see what else we have for you my lovelies taurus this week bit an oddball this week isn't it bit an oddball okay oh my goodness we got the moon we got the three of pentacles ace of swords ace of cups now and i feel this moon is here with this uh card of concern so there's things happening behind i wouldn't worry too much because this is definitely a card of you do some of the things you do not need to know something is going to be disguised for your benefit and it's oh hold this again if something doesn't happen it's a blessing because sometimes you get protected by things being cancelled trains being cancelled or something you can't start your car because there's the reason for it you never know what would happen in a journey maybe you do not need to go there today or just not right now three of pentacles you are starting something new you're learning new craft here could be a teamwork it feels like a lot of team people around you as well and with the ace of swords it's like you have a lot of ideas you're very intelligent and ace of cups is you feeling it it really makes sense all th it's kind of like coming everything's coming together here really indeed it's a wow what a crazy week like your wishes are coming through your wishes are coming through what a busy week indeed all right my lovelies let's have a look yes or no question shall we okie dokie let's go clear this out let's have a good old shuffle let's go taurus Oh, we go this way. Right, it's not going. It's very temperamental. Yes or not, Taurus? Oh, three pentacles again. It is a yes. Definitely. Teamwork. Teamwork. You're going to get there through someone helping you and you helping someone else. Child. It could be some sort of childhood dream or it could be something that you've been dreaming about for a long time. However, this card is talking about open, keep your mind open. Keep open mind like children. They have, like, Everything feels and seems so interesting seems so they have no limitations they don't have that kind of oh you can't do this kind of that you know in general they really every little box could be a house and and so and so you never know where this might lead to but it's definitely yes all right my lovely Taurus thanks so much for being here and have a blessed week I'll see you in the next reading Ta -da.